So have you seen that ad with Zendaya about Sally selling seashells by the seashore and how she uses a website to lift her selling game? In this video, I want to take a quick look at some of the lessons that we can learn as herbalists running businesses uh, from that ad and how we can use those to grow our own herbal businesses. But before we do get into it, I just want to give you a quick reminder to hit subscribe if you want to uh, get more videos like this one about how to grow your herbal business and a like on this video as well so that we can boost the video in the YouTube algorithm. So let's get started at the first part of the video. Sally sold seashells by the seashore, but the seashells didn't sell so well. Okay, so as an herbalist, I think you may be able to relate. We, like Sally, have wonderful herbal products and services. She has these beautiful shells that she's trying to sell on the seashore, but they're not selling. It doesn't mean that the shells are not any good. It just means there's not enough people walking past the seashore wanting to buy those shells. And so as herbalists, we have to be thinking about what we can do to reach more people and get our products and services into the hands of people who actually want what we have to offer. Which brings us to the next point in the video. So Sally set up a seashell store on Squarespace. Soon her seashell started selling. Okay, so once she got her website up, her seashells started selling. And this is truly because people knew about what she had to offer. She um, had them out there publicly available. People saw it and were able to purchase and become a part of her brand. But I would also like to extend this even further than a website. It's not just your website, but it's any any channel or platform that you may be able to reach more people. So this can be things like uh, social media. It could be things like going to a different market stall. It could be things to partnering with other companies. There are so many different options of ways that you can reach more people, which is the point of this. What we're really talking about is uh, building a platform to get your products noticed. Just putting your products in front of your house may not be enough to attract the people who are interested in your products. But creating a website that showcases what you have to offer, something that looks beautiful, that brings in your target customer avatar and makes them truly want to connect with your brand and buy your products is the next step that we really want to get to. Sally was such a seaside sensation. She also sold swanky seashell accessories, seashell serenity sessions, savory seaside snacks, even seashell excursions of the seashore. Okay, so this is a really cool part, thinking about what happens when you start to see some traction. Because when you do start to sell some products, one thing often leads to the other and you become known in, as the herbalist in your area and... Um, then you can offer a various types of products and services. A really um, practical way of looking at this is like a herbal teacher, for example, who teaches classes in their area and people begin to view them as an expert on herbs. Then they may go and ask them about certain products that they recommend. And if you also create products, you can say, well, I actually have this tea line here. Are you interested in this, this, this or this? People may also ask questions about specific uh, problems that they have to do with their body and their wellness in general. And if you offer consultations or that sort of thing, you may also be able to introduce them to your services in that line of work as well. But the point is that once you get started and you have that traction going, it can kind of one thing leads to the other and you can offer a variety of services whether you do this yourself or partner with other herbalists who do this better than you could do, but you um, have that target audience who is interested in what you have to offer and you have a greater impact overall. Sally Seashells were so successful. She sailed into the setting sun as a seashell celebrity. Shucks. And that is the ultimate aim for us, I guess, is just to be at that point that we are running a sustainable herbal business and are able to 
do what we love to do with herbs on a day-to-day -day basis and help the people in our community as we go about doing so. It's not just the quality of your products that you need to be thinking about. That is the first underlying what must happen for anything to work. The, that is kind of a given. But Sally's seashells in this case, she had the same shells, but they weren't selling in, that, in the beginning of the video. Sally sold seashells by the seashore, but the seashells didn't sell so well. When she set up her website, they started selling because people knew about the seashells. So Sally set up a seashell store on Squarespace. Soon her seashell started selling. The seashells themselves didn't actually change. What changed was where they were showing up and how people viewed them. And so we need to be really aware of this in the way that we go about marketing at a business. Are you showing up in the right places so that people who are interested in your herbal products actually find out about them and uh, are able to become customers? Or are you staying in your little box, your little area and not getting out there? Like which, which camp are you in? Are you beginning to get your products out there more than you did in the past? And this is an ongoing journey um, to get your products out there and uh, share them with the world. You can continuously get this, um, make this better. So the first step really is uh, definitely making sure you do have a website that is user-friendly set up and then working out how you can get people to that website. Social media is a great way to do that. You could also look at things like videos, YouTube, um, business cards with your, with your website on them, any way to get people and become more visible for your customers so that your herbal business gains traction and you do build that business that you want to do. Sally was such a seaside sensation. She also sold swanky seashell accessories, seashell serenity sessions, savory seaside snacks, even seashell excursions of the seashore. Sally's seashells were so successful. She sailed into the setting sun as a seashell celebrity. Shucks. I hope that this video has been useful for you and given you a little bit to think about as far as where you are showing up and how you are selling your herbal products. I would love to know in the comments if you already have your website set up and how you find the majority of your customers for your herbal business. Where do they find me? If you can let me know in the comments, I would love to know. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like on this video and subscribe to the Herbal Entrepreneur YouTube channel. And I will see you soon in the next video.